Good morning, friends. Today it is officially springtime and sunny. Um, it's not quite uh, as warm as I would like it to be, uh, but it is kind of slowly becoming spring. The days are getting longer. Um, the sun's out a little bit more. There's more rain instead of snow, which is really nice. Um, and I don't know if y'all know this, but uh, Chicago during the springtime is just full of tulips. Um, they plant them all over the city and they the tulip buds um, are starting to sprout. So there's little green like sprouts everywhere. And it's just, I'm just so excited <laughs> that it's spring. So I kind of wanted to celebrate by going on some like springy errands, get some flowers, maybe decorate my bookcase and things around the house for spring. Um, I want to chat about some new favorite spring reads, some like cozy fantasies, um, and just some books that I've been really loving recently. And I also have some really fun like spring games that I've wanted to try out and I wanted to try them out with you. So today is just going to be all about celebrating the new season and it's gonna be really really fun. I also decided to celebrate by making some rose tea. Um, it's like one of my only teas that's like bright pink and I just thought that would be perfect for today so um, yeah and it's just wonderful. I absolutely love it but yeah let's go uh, celebrate spring and go get some flowers. <laughs> Um, and I also got some knickknacks of my own that I've been putting um, in storage and taking out every spring. Um, and I also need to change the sign because it has not been my birthday for months now. Um, so I am going to get these in some water and slowly start getting out all my spring decorations. Um, and then talk about some really cute books that I love. So yeah, let's get decorating. <laughs> up and I feel like it just gave the whole room like a revival of sorts which is really really nice especially just after winter I think I feel like everyone needs just a bit of like a breather um, but I wanted to chat about some books that I've recently read um, or just some like spring favorites that I like to read every spring um, so yeah let's start chatting books 
All right, so for books I've recently read, I want to first talk about um, the Six of Crows. So I actually read the entire Shadow and Bone series with y'all. Um, so if you want to check that video out, I'll have it linked down below. But I also started reading the Six of Crows and this book was incredible. I was like captivated from the very first chapter. I thought it was fascinating and so fun. Every single character is like quirky in like a really fun weird way um it honestly reminds me which is super nerdy of me but it reminds me of just like a DD &D party getting together and doing a heist like that's how kind of quirky these characters are um but i absolutely love this and i really want to read more um so i'm going to get the next book of the duology very very soon but I highly recommend reading Six of Crows if you have not, um, because it's absolutely fantastic. Um, definitely, I think a little bit better than Shadow and Bone, um, but the world is just so cool. So um, if you're looking for more of like a darker uh, fantasy that deals more with like heist and high stakes and like drama in between characters, um, I highly recommend. <laughs> The Six of Crows. Next book that I recently read was The Cat Who Saved Books. Um, I picked this book up because I thought the title was just so fascinating and it's just adorable. I love the art um, and thinking of a little cat saving books was incredible so I had to pick it up. Um, I thought this book was very very similar to The Little Prince. Um, you have a character kind of going in between not stars or planets but different uh, labyrinths of, is what they're called um, and kind of learns more about themselves along the way um, and I really like uh, the exploration of how to read and how or why we should read. Um, you should read because you love reading and love reading books and um, you don't have to speed read, you don't have to read all of the books in the world to be a reader. Um, so I really liked the kind of exploration on that. Um, it wasn't my favorite book, but I feel like it's very cozy. And if you love just like bookshop vibes with a little bit of lessons along the way, I feel like you'll definitely love this book. The next book I recently read was the second book in the uh, Monk Robot series, which is A Prayer for the Crown Shy. Um, and if you do not know, I absolutely <laughs> adored this book. The first one, A Song for the Wild Bill, it was a five-star read for me. And this book was also a five-star read for me. It was fantastic. <laughs> if you just want to escape into a very hopeful, green, lush world, I highly recommend reading this book. It just, I want to live here. <laughs> Every single time I'm feeling sad or feeling stressed and overwhelmed, I reread these books um, and I'm so glad that the second one is very similar to the first in exploration of just thoughts and ideas um, of being burnt out and what you should do when you're burnt out and you know what is the reason for living is it just to uh hang out do you have to have a purpose all these different things um it's just it's just so comforting um and i love that there's just a guy making tea with his best little robot friend hanging out exploring this incredible sci-fi fantastic hopeful universe um, I just, I could not recommend this enough, um, the series, I guess, now. Um, it's absolutely fantastic, and I'm definitely going to purchase the second book um, now that I've read it. It's just, it's so good. <laughs> so if you're looking for just something really cozy and nice this spring, I highly recommend reading the Song for the Wild Bill, or I guess it's called the Monk and Robot series, so highly recommend. <laughs> These next few books are more of like spring favorites. They're books that I will often reread um, during this time of year just because I feel like they just fit the vibe. The first book is of course Anne of Green Gables. This is just like a childhood classic and it, um, if you could not tell this is actually my childhood copy of the book. It is very very old um, but I feel like Anne is just 
perfect. <laughs> just a perfect like spring, early summer vibe. Um, and there's also, I believe, like a Netflix show, um, Anne with an E, um, that's kind of similar. And so I highly recommend checking that out as well. Um, but yeah, I just feel like this captures kind of like the cottage core vibe of spring that I think spring brings a lot of the time. Um, but it's just a nice cozy read. Um, my next book that I often reread during spring is Heartstopper. Um, this is just like the epitome of spring for me. It's like school time, which I feel like just exudes spring for whatever reason. Um, and you have the just gorgeous art style. It's so cute. And for some reason, it always reminds me of spring. And of course, it's very heartwarming and cozy and just uplifting, which um, as someone who is a bisexual themselves, it's really nice seeing just like a uplifting school bisexual kind of representation in this way. Um, I remember the first time I read it, I was just so excited for Nick. Uh, I completely related to him as a character. So I just love the series. I love rereading it. It's just perfect in every way. <laughs> um, I also highly recommend if you don't want to read the comic or the graphic novel, um, watching the Netflix series. Um, it's so cute and captures all of the feelings and emotions of this book, so highly recommend. Alright, these next two books I have not read yet, but I'm going to read and I just feel like, again, they exude springtime vibes. Um, and the first one is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Um, I am a huge fairy fan. I have been since I was a little kid. Um, I used to have like this big book of fairies. I'll have to post it on my Instagram um, because I am going home next weekend so I'll have to find it. Um, but I used to have a really big like a uh, field guide of fairies that I would take out into my neighborhood and just like try to find little fairy holes and homes when I was little. So the minute I saw this book, I was like, I have to buy this. I have to read it. I feel like this is definitely my vibe. I am honest, I don't know that much about it other than the title, um, but I feel like if it's uh, about fairies and covered in flowers and mushrooms, I will enjoy it. So I um, am very excited to read this and give it a shot. Um, I've started just a bit of it and I'm liking it so far, but um, I'm hopeful for uh, the rest of it. Um, and the last book on my list to read and also this big list of books is the Tea Dragon Society. Um, I'm actually going to read this today um, because I just really want to and I've been wanting to just read more graphic novels. I kind of took a break from them for a minute, um, but I love them, I think they're so fun. And I just absolutely love just like the art style of this book. It's so gorgeous. Um, and it, of course, starts in spring, so I felt like this would be perfect to read today. Um, and the other really exciting thing is that Mac actually found a card game based on this graphic novel in a board game sale um, at our local neighborhood board game cafe. <laughs> um, so I am really hopeful to kind of finish this, read this today, and then maybe play that game with Mac and look at all of the cute cards and cute art. Um, I just feel like it'd be a really fun way to spend the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get reading. Um, and if you guys have any more um, spring recommendations, please leave them down below in the comments. I love reading what you guys love. I also love reading what you guys have been reading. So if you have a favorite book that you've recently read, um, also let me know in the comments. I love chatting books, so anytime you wanna chat, I am down for it. Um, but yeah, let's get to reading. Bye. 
like a candle I just burn away All we really have is time All we really have is time I don't wanna waste it Take it with anybody but you I don't wanna waste it on anybody Take it with anybody but you Alright, so this book was so so cute it was exactly what i wanted for today just a sweet uh introduction into spring and um i absolutely adored the art style of this book um and i know that there's several of them and so i want to uh keep reading the little cute story and um world that they had built with this graphic novel i think it was just absolutely adorable and i highly recommend if you just want something sweet and nice for your day um to check out this book it's just a really really fun time <laughs> um but I also played the game and I feel like it is just a really fun, cute way to learn deck building. Um, if you've never played a deck building game before, it's quite easy and I thought it was really fun, um, especially as someone um, or just as people. Me and Mac love board games, deck building games and all the things and I just really loved this one. It was a really, really cute uh, game. So yeah, I think that is going to be the end of today's video. Um, the rest of the evening, I think we're just going to wind down. Um, and I've been really wanting to watch the Ghibli film only yesterday. So I might do that because it's been on my list for a while. Um, so I will let you know what I think of that um, on my Instagram, which you can go ahead and follow if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day stuff. But if not, I'll see you all next week for um, more book and Chicago content. Um, I hope you're enjoying it and hopefully wherever you are, it is getting warmer um, day by day and I hope you're enjoying spring wherever you are. But either way, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Make it